There's a chance that this was created in a lab. There's an investigation. A chance? The disease is the same name as the lab. I'm glad that you agree with me, Johnny Come Lately, but it's so disingenuous. A year and a half late ain't going to cut it. No, do not fall for this. Now, CNN does not have the only journalists out there who very rarely, but on occasion, switch up the narrative. We saw this the other night with uh, no less a liberal than Jon Stewart. Jon Stewart went on Stephen Colbert's CBS show. These guys used to work together on Comedy Central at The Daily Show, The Colbert Report. Now they're coming and they actually disagreed. These are both dyed-in-the-wool liberals. They disagreed because Jon Stewart said, you know, it sure does look like the virus came from that lab in Wuhan. I think we owe a great debt of gratitude to science. Science has in many ways helped ease uh, the suffering of this pandemic, uh, which was more than likely caused by science. What do you mean by that? Do you mean like well, so this perhaps a- was, there's, there's a chance that this was created in a lab, there's an investigation? A chance? Well, but I, so, I, 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 oh my if God. there was evidence, I'd love to hear it. There's I don't a know. novel respiratory coronavirus overtaking Wuhan, China. What do we do? Oh, you know who we could ask? The Wuhan novel respiratory coronavirus lab. The disease is the same name as the lab. (laughs) So think about Stuart. Stuart actually is pretty funny, right? And he he is a, I don't think he's a sophisticated political thinker, but he, he points out what we have all known for a year and a half. And this is where I want you to be very careful. Do not give Jon Stewart credit. Do not do it. This is an op. This is fake. Do not believe this. The the purpose of this debate between Jon Stewart and Stephen Colbert, and I'm not saying this is the purpose that was going on in Jon Stewart's mind or Stephen Colbert's mind. I'm saying this is the reason this is being blown up and being talked about right now, is to create the illusion that, that parts of the media are reasonable on this, parts of the media are losing their, using their common sense. Where was Jon Stewart a year and a half ago? Where was he? Where were the mainstream media a year and a half ago? He's right. Yeah. Oh, the novel coronavirus that was found in bats is uh, discovered right next to the novel coronavirus in bats laboratory in Wuhan. Oh, wow. What a coincidence. No, obviously it had something to do with the lab. When we said that a year and a half ago, the John Stewart's of the world were either silent or were telling us that we were crazy coup conspiracists. And big technology companies were censoring us and were fact checking us and were telling us that that was absolutely crazy and unscientific and we should be ostracized from society. And now they're saying, well, what? I mean, obviously we've got common sense. Obviously it had something to do with the lab. Yes, that's true. I'm glad that you agree with me, Johnny Come Lately, but it's so disingenuous because you had to cover it up a year and a half ago because it contradicted your political agenda and it would have put into greater peril the 2020 election that you were trying to win and it would have given Donald Trump credit for being obviously correct at the time that they all said, no, he's a racist, he's unscientific, he's a ruby, he's an idiot. Trump got, I want to say, 97 out of 100 things right on the coronavirus. The mainstream media and the Dr. Fauci's and the Democratic Party got, I was going to say three out of a hundred things right. I think it's zero out of a hundred things right on the coronavirus. And now they're going to try to come in and pretend that they were reasonable uh, on this as well. No, thank you. Sorry. It's not going to work. I'm glad that Jon Stewart is learning and he's coming back around and he's going to try to do better. That's fine. We'll we'll give him grace to do that in the future. But a year and a half late ain't going to cut it. No, do not fall for this. They were entirely wrong on the virus. They have new credibility. They should not be believed on any part of it from now on. And you're going to hear a whole lot about not just the vaccines, the vaccine passports, the new, the new lockdowns for the new variants or whatever. Don't believe them. Don't believe them about any of it. If they hadn't squandered their credibility day in and day out by the, by the hour, by the minute for a year and a half, then maybe they, they could be believed. But as of now, they cannot. Oh, hey there. Oh, hey, sorry. I I didn't see you there. Uh, You should ring the bell right now and uh, you should subscribe and make sure you get the notifications. And you should also head on over to the Apple podcast and Spotify and, and Google play and all that to subscribe to the audio podcast.
Oh, you're probably, <laughs> yeah, right. This is my upcoming book, Speechless, Controlling Words, Controlling Minds. It's available now for pre-order, but it's coming out super duper soon. So make sure you pre-order your signed, autographed, both. It'll be both signed and autographed. First edition copy at Premier Collectibles. You can also get it on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, anywhere you get your books. See you next time.